Well, hello there. My name is Trevor Johnson and I'm privileged to be able to share this first virtual camp meeting experience with you. It's always better to be able to be together in person, handling books and resources and the books that we make available each year to you at camp meeting. So on behalf of Stanford Press, in association with LifeSource Christian Bookshop, I want to extend our invitation to you to connect with us online. Your theme, Hope in Spite of Hopelessness, is very timely, considering the big challenges we are all experiencing in the world right now. So please feel free to contact us throughout the virtual camp meeting. We are open 24 hours for you. May God bless you as we work. Christ. If for men and me, I see if it's we in a day or da a friend, Frederick Sapon, it tell me when I'm a war twenty years in here. No, you may be a little memo. When I'm a bomb by if you are how near money, P. Mo, in I name a blue chink at us. If I were how near money, P. Mo, there's when you're young, don't. Any more blue moon tea or Buana Meneno, Mesaka Mecatena, and ninety this year, Visual Camitino, a summoni, Sidonia Mia Yama Meno, Medena Mia Sia, a Sendiani Munyam, Sasonia Men Medini Yi, and then Uncle, a bomb of Mobile, and then Mokani, a way in a mobile, Vijapi, and when Yamia and Moglo Hunu, and that's where I cry because I've been swimming. Any name. Covenant here by ye, see the sea a dee, he need our mate anymore. So you come on your come on And in Tiaso, we didn't have a Join me in his faith. over a week. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm if you saw ye, and I draw your da, Mumusun Kai, a busuin pie boom, and in a mere be dree, the mechanic say, you don't see be dree, if you saw ye, and I draw your da, Amen. Yammy, Mamma, my never, dear, see, if you saw ye, and I draw your da, Mamma, my great in cancer, Amsterdam, Holland, and ye. Me, dear, dance here, as you, Yammy, Munyam, a quam on my sober, and Yammy, a fasso, a jimmy. Covid nineteen, Emily Mo. My dancing in a major pile, and I'm a tone. I woke N thirty nine. I say, What can wash away? Dear Nepame Bonnie, a Joanna Metal Pain, or me how no more. Last year, November, no more. Nemi, who say, As I'm a home family, papa be in Timmy call me house doctor ho. Your family doctor, Emma, your chin, you moja. Now, moja, let me in, dear, go on the end, say, me corosso, a cosro. And you know, what the member specialist, Emma, may call Kumu Omo. 
Or churchy Pharmacy, I'm a quite dear drone, bro. Nibia, I'm a cotton or year drone, I'm a catcher, I may say. Box me, you know, and a yatro, I'm a me. Say, men, you know, men, no. Nemo, men, you mo, box back, be a mo, thirty tablet. Into men, you fifteen, nanka forty five. Name, men, no, they say, Bibia, and Yamia, my baggy, the Akano, and no Maka home. Pharmacy, you ran here, Ganyan, into me friend or back door, a born a man here. And more catcher, I may say, dear Papa, I can't be be any horse. Timi de drun be fee be sati, and I do be a me da. Na ma nom ba akun. Na a de ati. Timi nom fifteen times. A fi ya dani bi anadro. Mi mou ye ti sa de ase, ye de miye ure fri di mi. Mi mou nina, ye minu, 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 minu. A wad de miye me, ye mi hubi di a e nye ye. A fi ya mi minu mou. Mi ti, mi mou be, che se, se de a de ni si ye non, ti a de a chi ye non. Me ko... Family doctor no ko bo na mani e. Samire mu ana ke se ade no ye wura mu eh covid 19 no which is 18th of march. Ada na me na na me ya asori eye oku ya da nwimre mpae bo. Enti ye kodu asori da mu no wo ma me ya nya asori mu ka se nko fie. Ye be fie be ya asori no e fie ha. Na me ya asori ni nyina no. De me ho ya me no so me pese obi aso be hunu. De kakra bi ya no makoto akonwa na mete so no. Ya nkoto sa omo nko nyina nkoto kra na me makoto na me kasa na me bo mpa ye ko pe me se ye ye ade ni wi e 19 afi die mi wu makoma eti me koko mi nkoto dwa mu nyina ye me ya me hunu mu nyina ye me ya mi ti dwa me mi mini mu aye me ya mi ni fa dwa mu inside na ye te se de ya ya me ko asra me e wo me mu nya me hunu mu ni ha no me inside me ko kore ti se de dia de e bo ho enu nti afi de na na odin ti me twa family doctor no na me ba ne de me ko e me ko duru ya e za me me no wo se bi bia ni ho na me ko so ni me duru na de chi ye na kese e din nti ne me sa ko bi e mu no e na emi nu ana me nkan ko ma so bo a ba bi e de me ko wura wura ne ne ye me ni fi dia ye de me ko wura wura mu no Say your COVID nineteen, Nibia, and Tibia, your mamma, may feel, get the milk of can. One more yard and home, I said, if a woman may be woos, the same coming to me, meaning BBC, you be blue fee. Just say, I dear no quan, air cost, so may home it is so be a wenya asthma. Mean to me, did mean to me in court toilet, mean to me, ye be a and I'm a dish at me home, it will fear her. I feel the electors are dear no air, dear ye, your friend doctor. No, be so boa. Oh, when see, Sandy, be as so any me, and Mintino, and Casso Moons, I'll be honest, I didn't know who would feed you, my MD, say me, be a, and Yenny be antino, who be a female. In Tisa, a dry year, be bound to see any be an amay, so I didn't know quite, and a cost from me, who never mean I mean woo. Near Copa, and say, My man, I'm a bushing a four child fax in three days, eh, your mammy. Say, I may be home, but in Paya near Sammy, when I ever be in Timmy Cobbe, be a and almost Sammy Hosa, me who mean ye, will be a baby who be at the work fun, I may phone. A fed ye a cobassi. Me fat telephone, no me chat as a for baby, I may ten and catch it. Now, me be son, and I want to say, Mammy, I know that me be a saffron, or want to say, near Dinkoma. Say no, in your media, drug with Jack, me baby. Timmy fat telephone, I'm a friend, me banner and be son, and send a want to say. Ye didn't come on, Osa Mama. Oh, yare are na. Me pesa meka, me so. Osa Mama, asa o yare o kasa. And I'm a kind of granitier and said, Ye me. A fade ye. Was he? A drumming ye a churn ma, when I'm a catcher and say. Yes, in your chorus or costum, and ye dread the mammy, in ye. Me pesa mon share a druno, and so be a yamma will be a bia and wife is in ye. Oh, symptoms be a druid one, what jayanum. And unty. Me bane ka chire me se men send e drone mere no e na me send e koma no e na o gugu ye na drone side effect a e wo so no me nua no 
and yan sam ketwa e fri u tri suko si u nasi be biya side effect ewo eka ewo e dro nou inti diya kwa ba ya ane se e be se tete minister amon anam e bani jina puna nechi me fri e puna chi o di e dro abe si ho o koto to vitamin C face oil eni ni yama ni yama nou a koto e fre ye ni ayo kuru me du yane e fri o di abase me nou me dro na fre na so me nyam ano pebiya na men sone sona men no for five days na men fya de na se wano so e hawa wanya ewa se edu no no de nyami ya mwana nko yene wo yina ache na japa de nene ma e chiche mai e mra se edu e hawa na wanya eno inti nini ya na me sati no madri no ene efre no me hon tome kakra kakra me hon tome kakra kakra inti diya koba ya na se Ne sa kwa ye te si ni bim. Ye se kore so no a ba no ma. Se minu ya ni minya miya mwa miya. Nka se edro we. Ebe kume. Na nka sa ata mwa mwa kobe ne inti ni mwono. Diya na ye ye meno. Na ye se sa ne ye kani yina pe 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 wakuma. O hini mwa bon. O hini mwa shishew. O koko shishew. O unti adye nka. O unti sent. Diya ni yina na edro ye ema minye bi. Inti obi ya nisha se edro we no ngugu no nshe. You call Google what? The drone a year no. Ube who no. The American year who says say a summer a year some get twenty. Oya mi a ye biya ma me pa say say ye radia. Enka a few we can meet here a year year no. Kami enka mubi. The me dey radia si be bre. You call far so a or saw me a dia. E fi na dia na ye ma ho me tene say say saw ya dia na ye me na mi saw me ya dia mu mi mu ya. Enka kwa ya be far so a ye si mi ni enko far be ka na ke e ye papa. Nen su nyame a ompe se sa ba ni nti no twetwa je me de eduro e be si me pona no e ma me enom ya ne me nyama ya resa mo mo ame na me na urade ase e fi se oye na do ye wo ho da ime na me pesa me to me jomo no de na e pa mi boni ni mu bi se yesu mo ja de na e ma me who tell me who we say yes to Moja? eh who me? Who no boy didn't say Ya, amen. Dami dishye, ene de yi, mi jina ega kom, e peni fwo, ane mo, e mo akwaba, e ba ega kom virtual camp meeting 2020. O nyame ni edi ni ye, inti o jontu fwo ni se, o so, e ke nyan kupo ni mo nyam, na e uye mo chile ni nsanu e juma. Nyame ye ke se, nyame ye o ba adye, nyame na kwa yi, e mo ni shushe biya. Je bon sang pesen ke je bon eno nyamia mana dani nsira ama na hote fwa ka ame wa ase. E nan so ye tuwa ye juma diye ne so mi din de o sofo kre fwa do wusu jem fi Swiss Zealand en anwa. E nan o peye o ma eno mwa bedi juma na ye wo o sofo o bese ama kwa wa ase. O nan e bebo ye mpa yiti trino ama ye. A fin so ye wo ye mami kwe o nan sube kin kain a kin kain se mwa no ama ye. Na e ne o sofo ha nyame I didn't say can I didn't ask him as an anno set me new me no yen channel or no any or so for Louis Quay. And to yen channel mono, you will go up with ye yum titrino na se a numnisia or so for or basic a manqua or near ever go empire. Yamema, yet a young coupon say. So, what way and so na a fear and come between the penny and a cross up to ye, a view. Na a few way, yea, yea, virtual ega come come meeting. Now, so the old moon is a near air course way we are saying, you know, a dear basem two a brain movie, a dear tete a brain, and a pay me no ha ever bomb pie. I say, young coupon din shamo. 
Nancy, a woman air boya a day about some two air braying. Neither am she she air braying. Ye swan frail and opay ye. As thou say, till when him chilling. My one dumb and also my yen. My yen tears here say, O Jesus, O can yen. Obey young queen him give for a my yen. New in your neighbor be pure maco. Ye betray a cheap near kind and she had a drawer with your my yen. Now my yen does was say. O can yen wound ye be young queen give for. You are saying, then you were thinking me as you were, you who are why ain't you in a mouth? Oh, what do you mean? Amen. Amen. So for you, I mean, you shall some reno, um, you bet ye, I can cast semino a free ye, mammy, que or say, I can cast semino a seer ye beto ye theme song no. Na and also kwa ya enia obetieno eye osofu lewe square nene. Nyame nka hu, nyame nsisi wakuma ebra oche na semu. Good morning to you all. The scripture reading for our devotion this morning is Matthew chapter 5 and verse 3. Matthew 5 verse 3. I read, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For this is the kingdom of heaven. May the Lord bless his word in the name of Jesus. Amen.
greet you all in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are right now, I trust that the Lord is blessing you. Even as He is blessing us here in Reading, my wife and I, our family. Trust that the Lord is blessing you even as He is uh, blessing us. And this morning, I'd like to uh, thank the Egacom leadership, uh, our chair. on 
gospel chapter 5 and uh, verse 3. The Bible says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. In spirit, the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And the question you ask immediately is who might be the poor in spirit? Turning away from sin. 
evidence was there that Jesus was the Messiah. No man raised the man from the dead. No man did. No man healed the man born blind from birth. No man did. The things Jesus did, absolutely no man. No man spoke and the sea became calm. No man. No man did. He died, yes. But he arose. And you know what they did? They bribed the soldiers uh, uh, to keep quiet. They knew. The evidence was there. Question. No question. No question. But they would not acknowledge him, let alone embrace him. They would not. Their friends, the Pharisee, generally represented the children of Israel. Uh, but this morning, you know something? The Pharisee, he represented us also. Because like the Pharisee, we also often struggle to acknowledge our sins. Am I speaking the truth? Like the Pharisee, we also often struggle to acknowledge our sins. Husbands struggle to acknowledge their sins, don't they? One of them. Not only husbands. Our wives, wives also struggle to acknowledge their sins. Never say I made a mistake. Here. Never. Not only husbands and wives, but brothers and sisters, and aunties and uncles and parents and children. We all do. Like the Pharisee, we also often struggle to acknowledge our sins. We all do. A couple years ago, someone told a story. I don't recall. the heavens and the earth. 
that the rules of the Son Jesus Christ, the evidence was there. But Lucifer would not acknowledge it. So the Lord threw him out of heaven. And then he came into the garden of Eden. And he lured Adam and Eve to join him in the rebellion. And you remember, after they had eaten the fruit, and God came into the garden, and God called Adam, where are you? And God said, what have you done? You remember? Adam. He said, it's the woman you gave me. It's the woman. You know what he was saying? If you have not given me the woman, this would not have happened. So, you know what I'm talking about here. You must blame yourself. And when God, God turned to Eve, would she admit? She said, no, it was a serpent. The serpent deceived me and I did it. Terrible tragedy. Terrible tragedy. Terrible tragedy. We often struggle to acknowledge our sins. It is a character trait that the devil has passed on to us. All of us. All of us. And so even, even though we know it is wrong, uh, we cannot save ourselves. We cannot save ourselves. But you know this morning I have wonderful news. I have absolutely wonderful news for you, my friend. That is the reason Jesus came. Uh, he knew we uh, are unable to save ourselves. That is the reason he came. In First John chapter 3 and verse 8, listen to what the Bible says. It says, he who sins is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Would you say amen now then? For this reason, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. This morning, dear friends, may the Son of God, Jesus Christ, destroy the works of the devil in our lives. May he destroy the works of the devil. May he take away the pride. That is the reason we refuse to acknowledge. We were, we were just so, so proud. May he take away the lying tongue. We tell lies so much. We, we, we just tell lies. May he take away the lying tongue. From me. But also from you. May he grant us grace to acknowledge sin. To acknowledge the mistakes you have been made, may he grant us humility and do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may he save us from the power of the enemy. Dear friends, this morning there is hope for the poor. Hope for the poor. Uh, in spirit, Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For this, is the kingdom of heaven. For this is the kingdom of heaven. And the question you're asking is, how is that so? How is that so? How is it that the poor in spirit will inherit the kingdom of heaven? How is that so? I'd like to invite you. Come with me to a sanctuary service in ancient Israel. A sanctuary service. Consider with me a man arriving at the um, altar uh, of sacrifice, and he comes with a lamb. And you know the way he, is. he will place his hands on the animal. He will confess his sin. That way, he transfers the sin onto the animal. Then he's given the knife, and with his own hands, he will slaughter the animal. The blood is collected, the priest will take it into the sanctuary. That way the blood, the sin is taken into the sanctuary. Question. 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 Why would the man bring the lamb to the altar? Why would he slaughter the animal? Why? I like to suggest to you it is an acknowledgement of his sin. By the act of bringing the animal, he is saying that I have sinned. I made a mistake. You agree with me? Listen to what Mrs. White says in the book Thoughts from the Man of Blessing. 
page 7 and 8. This is what is speaking. She says, Whom Christ pardons, he first makes penitent. The word penitent means regretful. It means sorrowful, to regret, uh, to um, um, have a sorrow for something you've done wrong. And she said that whom Christ pardons, he first makes penitent. She goes on. Those whose hearts have been moved by the convicting spirit of God see that there is nothing good in themselves. They see that all they have ever done is mingled with self and the sin. Like the poor publican, they stand afar off, not daring to lift up so much as their eyes to heaven, and cry, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. God, be merciful to me, the sinner. Whom Christ pardons, he first makes penitent. He first makes regretful. He first makes sorrowful. Whom Christ pardons. The man brought the lamb as an acknowledgement for his sin. You agree with me on that one? Let me ask a question here. Would he have brought it if he had not acknowledged the sin? Would he have brought the lamb if he had not acknowledged the sin? Would he have brought the lamb? You are right. But you see, the lamb represented Jesus Christ, the lamb of God. That is what the lamb represents. John says that, behold, the lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. The lamb represented Jesus Christ. And so, would a man come to Jesus if they do not acknowledge their sin? What would they be coming to him for? What would they be coming to him for? Are you beginning to see why Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Are you beginning to see? Because until a man acknowledges his sin, he will not come. No man would come to him without first acknowledging that spiritually they are poor. No man would come. No man. No man would come until they acknowledge that like all men, they have sinned and come short of the glory of God and they desire forgiveness. You agree with me? No man would come otherwise. No man. But I know the wonderful news. The wonderful news <laughs> this morning, beloved, is this. No man who so comes to him would be turned away. No man who so comes to him uh, in acknowledgement of their sin, their wrong, will be turned away. No man. No man. I love what Jesus said himself in John's Gospel, uh, chapter 6 and verse 37. John's Gospel, chapter 6. Listen to what Jesus said himself. He said, all that the Father gives me will come to me. Amen. And the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast out. <laughs> the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast out. Would you say amen now that the one who comes to me, the one who comes to me. Paul says something in Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25. Paul, he says he is also able to save to the uttermost. He's able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him. Since he always lives to make intercession for them, he is also able to save to the atoms. In other words, it doesn't matter what you may have done. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you have said. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you remember David? David took a man's wife. Can you imagine? When he saw Bathsheba, he sent for her. He asked, he said, ah, this is Uriah's wife. David should have just turned the other way around and go and sleep. But David said, go and bring the woman to me. And that's what he did. And you know what happened? When Bathsheba became pregnant, he sent for Uriah. Tried to lure him to do stuff. Uh, Uriah said, no. No when there is battle going on. 
Then he sent the letter uh, to uh, through Uriah to do up to arrange and hear the man killed, and the man murdered. But even David, God forgave him. God, my father, is a good God. That is the reason broken wretched men like Louis Quay can stand here. God, our father, is a great God. He's a forgiving God. He's a good God. No one who comes to Jesus will be cast out. No man. And so this morning the question is, is there some sin you need to acknowledge? Is there some sin you need to acknowledge? Is there some sin? And I want you to think about your brother. I want you to think about your brother. You are taking stuff from your brother that has not belonged to you. Or you have said stuff about him that you don't know. You don't understand. What about your sister? You have done stuff to your spouse, your husband, your wife. You have not treated them fairly. You have not treated them fairly at all. You have not treated them fairly. And you know it. Is there some sin you need to acknowledge? What about the fellow member in the pew? You know the things we do to each other in church? And the other. What about the other? What about the church pastor? What about the church pastor? You know, pastors suffer greatly at the hands of members. People say stuff. Half of it, they don't know, let alone understand. They don't know the stuff they are saying, let alone understand it. And yet, whoa, 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 whoa. People say stuff, they don't understand. They don't understand. No time was when God was furious with some individuals who rose up against his anointing. You know some of the stories. Miriam and the brother. And one young man is named Cora. You know some of the stories. But God, my father, is a gracious God. Is there something you need to acknowledge? And if so, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? One of the parables I love so much is the parable of the prodigal son. It's a lovely, lovely parable. You know the story. The younger of the two boys went to dad and said, give me the share of the property that falls to me. Not long afterwards, the Bible says that he collected the what was his and then he went to a faraway country. And there in that faraway country, he squandered it on righteous living. He, 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 he blew the lot. And as is often the case, a famine set in. There was no job. He lost all his friends. There was nothing to it. There was no job for him. So he went and acquainted himself, associated with himself with one man who, who, uh, who reared pigs and all the world for him to do was to feed the pigs. <laughs> you know the story. Jesus said that when he came to his senses, because at some stage he, he, he desired to eat the stuff that the pigs ate. Can you imagine the son of a wealthy Jewish man seeking to eat the stuff that pigs ate? I like to say to my friend, you know, freedom. We all deserve freedom. I am number one on that list. We all deserve freedom. But I know freedom, true freedom, is staying with the Father. True freedom is listening to the voice of God. That is what true freedom is about. True freedom is not going your way, way, your own way, and doing as you please. You don't understand. That is not freedom. That is bondage. It will take you nowhere. It will take you nowhere. True freedom is listening to the voice of God. For God alone knows the end from the beginning. You have no idea. You don't understand. True freedom is listening to the voice of God. That young man thought he knew better and he got himself in the pigsty. I am praying to God that you humble yourself and listen. So you will live and not die. Listen. Bible says when he came to his senses, 
realized that he's, 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 uh, he's, been, he's been foolish when he came to his senses. He said, how many of my father's high servants have bread enough and to spare? And I, and I perish here with hunger. I really remember his father that I thought the old man was a good man. Realize that. In verse 18, he said, I will arise and go to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I will arise and go to my father. The following what is happening here is acknowledging and confessing. He's acknowledging that I made a fool of myself. He's acknowledging it. Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. And I'm no longer uh, worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your highest servants. Make me like one of your highest servants. I have sinned against you. Acknowledgement. He's acknowledging his foolishness. He's acknowledging it. You know the story. The Bible says that while he was yet far away, the father saw him, recognized him. He was filthy. His clothes started. He said, I'm kept. Uh, I believe that he lost some weight. <laughs> he machiated, become as thin as a pencil. But the father saw that, hey, that's my boy, my boy. The Bible says that he ran. Uh, he ran to hug his, his son, to, to embrace him and, uh, and to kiss him, the father, the father, my son, my son, I have missed you so much. I thank God that you came back. Thank God that you came back. And then he called instructions to the servants. He said, bring a robe, quickly, bring a robe to cover his filth. Bring a robe. <laughs> Amen. He said, bring some dance for his faith, his royalty for heaven's sake. He said, bring a, bring a ring. So I stand here. <laughs> and the ones they were going to get those out there said, you, you know the fatted calf. You know the fatted calf. Prepare it. Prepare the fatted calf. Prepare it. And let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead by his life. He was lost by his being found. My son, my son, would you say men out there? You see, men out there, that is what our God is like. He's a great God. He's a gracious God. There is none like him. It's a benevolent God. It's a benevolent God. He does not treat us as we deserve. It's a good God. He didn't create us to destroy us. created us to live gloriously. created us for his glory. To live gloriously. What is happening is the work of an enemy. His name is Lucifer. That is what is happening. My God, our Father, is a good God. He cares about us. Dear friend, this morning there is hope. There is hope for you. There is hope if you would, but acknowledge that you've also sinned and wronged the people around you. There is hope. If you would acknowledge it, this morning there is hope for you, my friend. If you would acknowledge the wrong, you will find forgiveness. For God, my Father, is a forgiving God. If you would acknowledge the wrong, you will find healing. I like to suggest to you that sometimes the ill health we suffer is the consequence of stuff we are carrying like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen, amen, amen. So for your ministry, I was one more quaint and made in some of our so now when a hatch. Elo cre, we yanya bene, dear P, no one a brabumo dear, Nan so, when young coupon and quaff for a yammy tomb for my editor so, and we are how in a mo. Yammy shall suffer, yammy on calm. Some rain we ever sound to a theme song on a nasa and yumnesia or suffer quay a day benediction. Yo, nyamendishie, 
Sabrino aha and yet you my dear no if you see my dear but was so no me boy and you re Mr. Frewa Danfo Frewusia for we know my busina won't change shana munti when you go pass him a son say Nami Pesip was si see ye we see see na enche you be drew fi maranata a radibra you be shame of you Amen.